What I will be sharing in this video changed my life. Welcome to my channel. I'm Luke Nicholas Vedekitien, and I'm the founder of Purpose Driven with my goal to help people find their purpose and build a business around it. So what is it that changed my life? It is one thing, the mindset. I have always thought that perhaps I was limited in becoming becoming great at something in life, becoming perhaps the best, one of the best around. And that is something that recently has changed. What I learned is that it doesn't matter if you are the best, because there will always be someone else, there will always be in time someone that is better than you, someone that it will, will, will take what you have done a step higher, a notch higher. And I can tell you that if you remain fixed on being the best, being number one, you will actually waste your valuable time that you have on, on, on perhaps something that you're not meant to be doing. So what I learned was the following, is that it is hard, it is hard to set up your, your mind in a certain way that you get facilitated, you get facilitated in building something that you are truly enthusiastic about. To give you an example, I have personally had the, the struggle of being good at learning a lot of different things by myself. I am autodidactic. So the Archelius Hill could be, for me, having the having my attention spread spread out thin over different topics and subjects, over hobbies, over different jobs, over having a business, over, over investing. My vulnerability would be being able to do so many things that, you, and, that I eventually end up not being really good at all those different things. The question, rather, that I was asking myself was, is that a problem? Is that a problem for me that I, that I perhaps love to, to have different hobbies, to have different interests in, in, for example, in reading, right? I mean, I see so many people that try to, to focus their attention on, on, let's say, one specific topic. But I believe that a rich life is a life that is abundant with all the beautiful things that uh, are out there. And in my perspective, if you look at if you look at the growth mindset, which I mentioned, is that I believe that you are able, that I am able to achieve anything we set we set ourselves to to achieve. And that is a big, bold statement. I know that. But I truly believe that it's possible. I have seen it happen in several people that, that I knew or know. And that is one of the most powerful things to see. And it doesn't necessarily have to be becoming the most famous musician or perhaps becoming the greatest, world's greatest doctor. It can also be very small changes, becoming... Becoming, for example, being married, having a wife and two children, knowing that you can become better at your responsibility as a husband and as a father is already, is already in line with having a growth mindset, knowing that you are able to achieve, becoming a better person, you are able to achieve it. You just need to set out and, and follow that, that goal. So to come back at the question of why this changed my life, this, this mindset, this enabling mindset, is because there was a long period in my life that, that certain things happened, that I started doubting myself strongly. I started doubting myself, my capabilities. I started doubting my, my potential. And that is, I mentioned it in another video, it has to do with, with how we are schooled. So the schooling system gives us a label of perhaps a high test result, a high IQ value means you have a high potential. 
having a low IQ is a low potential. And personally, I've had difficulty with with having be having having received the label that wasn't perhaps the highest, but being a person fixed and fixated perhaps on having on receiving a higher label, right? Being labeled best of class, best of friends, whatever the case is, that is actually the wrong mindset. I looked at my situation from from wanting to have the highest label, having having the highest test results. And that's completely untrue. That's completely false. Because anything, if you want to achieve greatness in life, you should be you should be daring to make mistakes. You should be daring to fail, daring to to look like a fool. And the system, the schooling system does not support that. And in addition to the schooling system, there is also something that is hugely power, hugely powerful, and has has had a huge impact on impact on my life, and that is the necessity to financially support myself, and that came from a drive of having coming from a family, and, and a family that is not wealthy. So what happened was that I was driven towards, driven towards. To, towards sustaining myself financially in the quickest and most efficient manner possible. So what happened is I studied finance, I studied accounting for over, uh, let's say, I think it was, it was six or seven years, got my bachelor's, my master's degree, and then my certification as a management accountant. And then I started realizing that, that even though I studied for such a long period, I invested so many hours, in, into into those degrees, those those classifications, those labels, because in the end, labels is what they they are and were. Is that I started thinking in terms of of being fixated, of being labeled, being labeled this degree, that degree. And it wasn't only until recently that I started diving deeper in these topics of of how the mindset is actually one of the most powerful attributes to to being able to achieve that what you set out to achieve. So my personal experience has shown me that you should never look at the labeling that other people or institutions are giving you, but rather you should look at the actions and the results that your life uh, that that with your life you have generated, that you have produced, that you have shared. And the most important thing is that you do not let yourself get dragged down. Do not let yourself be hold, be be blocked by the thought that perhaps up until now you haven't achieved what you really want to achieve. For me personally, that had to that had to do with with the, the 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 wanting to become perhaps the best at the best at what I do the best at compared to other people, so the comparison should never be made with others. The comparison should be made with yourself, and why? Because if you compare yourself to others, everyone is unique. Perhaps someone has a stronger innate talent for for music or for for art or for mathematics. Right. So if you compare yourself to others, you're comparing a completely different situation, completely different background, a completely different path. And that the only thing that does, there is only one thing that does, and it is demotivate you. It is actually box your mind so that you become fixed, you become frozen in your status quo. So to break that status quo, you have to move beyond that comparison of others. You have to move beyond comparison to what others have achieved but compare yourself to what to what you were doing let's say a year ago compare yourself to what you were doing a year ago and compare yourself in years not in days not in months but in years and why in years because good things take time good things take consistent effort diligent work and time therefore you can't possibly compare yourself day in day out or perhaps week in week out 
you have to compare yourself within a year. Because again, the only thing it does is demotivate you because you don't see a difference from, from day to day. Whilst from year to year, you can clearly see, you can evidently see the progress, the incremental improvement that you are making in your journey. So to look at the element I started with, what changed my life? My, in my life changed the moment that I realized that I am capable of doing anything I set out to achieve. So with my channel, I with this YouTube channel that I am I'm building up, I love to be able to help people find their true purpose and build a business around, around it. And I will tell you why. Because I believe that everyone has a purpose. And a purpose doesn't have to be anything out of, out of, like, doesn't have to be the most special thing you've ever heard of. Like, become the best surgeon in the world. No. Purpose could be also very much related to, for example, how you do things. Perhaps you could, your, your life's purpose could be to be a light for others. Like, perhaps do everything that you do with joy or with, with happiness or, or share others that you actually did you, that you actually care about them just to give you an example so a purpose could be very broad it is not about how you do things necessarily or what you're doing but it is why you're doing it so why are you doing what you do so what drives you and then i always advise it perhaps sounds like a, like a financial financial advice but business is actually one of the few vehicles that we have nowadays in order to monetize or let's say build an income from that purpose because usually a job it doesn't mean that you can't you can't realize your purpose in a job i'm not saying that but the probability that you can or that you will i think it's much lower so therefore i always advise to look at first what's your purpose and then build a business around it so that you can actually maximize the time that you have left in your life by following that purpose. The analogy of how many weeks you have left in life is a very powerful one. If you're 30 years old, imagine you have on average left, let's say 40, perhaps 50 years to live. So that means you have still 2,500 weeks to live. Well, perhaps that doesn't seem it, 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 you would you would think okay 2500 fine that's a lot of weeks i'm not going to think about that but as soon as you become 40 and you have still left over let's say you have 2000 week, weeks left over to live it starts it starts daunting on you it starts coming closer right the feeling and the urgency that there is no unlimited time so knowing that you are able to pursue something of greatness should be actually a motivator for you to, to, to drive you towards getting started. Deciding on, on starting, deciding on starting today and not tomorrow or, or in a week or in two months, starting today. Because as we start, as we make very small steps, that is actually how we arrive at our destination. Not by saying in one month's time, I will do this and I will, I will start at, at, at building a business or really digging into finding my purpose. And then I was, I'm sure that I will find it. No, it starts today. Even if it, if it takes you five, 10 minutes a day, starts today. Change starts today. So, okay, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found this video valuable. If you did, leave behind a comment and subscribe. And I have a playlist about finding your purpose might be helpful or building up a marketing strategy, which is one of the most essential business skills if you already have found your purpose and are building a business around it. So again, thank you and I'll see you in the next one.